the CMHA is, is a strong fabric of, of our community. Uh, they do all kinds of great things in our community and they, they touch the lives of, of many individuals within our community. Windsor family is proud to support them and we must all come together to show our support in the future. Often the stories that we cover can also have aspects relating to mental health issues and you know awareness that's been promoted by the CMHA helps us in covering those issues. Supporting groups in the community is a big part of what we do and the CMHA does so much good work in the community with uh, you know mental illness and mental health issues. I think all organizations need to consider this type of support. When uh, you become aware that one in five Canadians are afflicted with some sort of mental illness, uh, that means that your co-workers, your friends, your family, I think it's really important that we can steer them to organizations like CMHA and to the programs that they offer. It may help save a life at some point. All I remember is being numb and in shock. It made me feel like 10 times better and it was just an amazing experience altogether. If I had to do this journey alone without getting any help, I don't know where I'd be today. At Canadian Mental Health, we're committed to supporting and promoting the mental health of all persons in our community. We provide a broad range of services for prevention and support to mental health. The focus of prevention programs is to prevent more significant problems from arising. If unresolved, it can result in problems in terms of relationships, feelings of abandonment later on, depression, acting out in terms of juvenile delinquencies. The mental health of one individual can impact many, many others. The prevention programs provided by Canadian Mental Health include public education, coping with unemployment, adult bereavement, and children's grief works. Coping with unemployment is a service provided to individuals that are marginally employed or have recently suffered the loss of employment. When a person loses their job, they lose their dignity and they lose their respect. They lose their homes. They lose their vacations. They lose their, their families in a lot of cases through marital breakdown. We don't try to tell people that you're not going to suffer some type of depression. You're not going to suffer some type of anxiety because clearly you are. Um, but what do you do with that? Do you try to minimize it and do you try to build it from there? You have to provide them with the tools. And the CMHA is the organization to provide those tools to any worker out there or any person out there that is suffering the very, very early signs of mental illness. By understanding and recognizing what those signs and symptoms are, they can seek the help and the treatment that they need. Public education means that you have to you have to face that stigma by at least facing the person who's standing up in front of you at an information table or at a speaking engagement to get the word out that we exist that um, and that uh, how pervasive mental illness is and the importance of mental health you change people profoundly when they're able to see a person uh, behind or in front of the illness. If I can help anybody to feel any better at all, that is my goal, that is what I like to do. My opinions count here. Like before I came here, no matter what I said, I felt nobody had the time or the effort to listen to me and I felt I wasn't important at all. I go out there and I, I don't feel like I'm an imposter talking about this in, in just some general sense, that it does affect me personally and affects many people I've loved as well. There are many instances where individuals will call up because they saw our booth at a health fair. And because we were there, that really opened up the door for someone to call us. It was July 12th, 1996. That's the day that is etched in my heart forever. That's the day my youngest daughter was hit by a train. I needed to find something that was going to help alleviate the pain that I was feeling. I remember uh, Canadian Mental Health stood out and I knew that there was something there for us. So I did make that phone call and it was one of the hardest things I had to do. I was 
deathly afraid. Everything I said, she seemed to understand, and it wasn't. Uh, it was a very comforting place to be. And she encouraged the fact that I might benefit from some group meetings where there's other parents that uh, have gone through the same thing. I was listening to all these stories and I was amazed. I thought, wow, these people are surviving and uh, I think there's hope for me too. I didn't think I'd ever be happy again. I didn't think that I'd ever be able to smile again, that I'd ever be able to live actually. And I know that Canadian Mental Health was my lifeline. These programs are so important for us to keep in this community because there is nothing like them out there. There's nothing that you can access for free, you know, that will be available to you when you need it. I lost my husband to suicide several years ago and I came home on a Tuesday after work and found him in the garage. In those first very dark days and weeks where I was barely able to move and, and make a decision for myself, I think probably one of the best decisions I made was going to the CMHA, and it was an incredible program. Each time I went to a meeting, I, I got better and better. Uh, I initially had the shell around me, and I was only able to let in as much as I could on that day, on that moment. And each time I went to a meeting, little pieces of that shell were just being chipped away and chipped away. And I, you would feel better and better and better. One day I woke up and the shell was gone. I started inquiring about fundraising. And at that time already, we had had two golf outings. Uh, in the memory of my husband. Uh, we had them in June around his birthday and we decided that perhaps we should make that into an actual fundraiser and had the proceeds to go to the CMHA. Children's Grief Works is one of our foundation programs at the branch. Children do not understand the nature of death. They don't understand why their whole lives have been turned upside down. I had an older daughter that passed away and my youngest daughter went through uh, a really bad period. You know, not I wish it was me, which is a normal process to go through, to very seriously I wish I was dead. First meeting I was really nervous, I wasn't sure what was going to happen and we talked about things. She just helped me bring my feelings out into the open. They made this beautiful... Um, it's like a memory box. So what she had, she had her decorate it all up and put thoughts into it. You can open the box and the memories just spill out again. And it just gives you that happy feeling or it'll give you the sad feeling, but it always makes you feel much better. I could see the progress that she was making. I was in a better mood. I had feelings out in the open. I wasn't holding anything inside anymore. And it was just, I knew that I was a lot happier. One of the first things I did here at home <laughs> was paint everything gray. I couldn't face things the same. I took all the pictures down because I couldn't look at her picture. It's been five years and I'm now finally, finally putting color back. We're painting, putting a lot more artwork up, we're putting a lot of our pictures back up. I think we just think it's time to get over everything, never to forget but to bring happiness back into our lives now. This is just one of the most amazing programs. Um, I couldn't say enough about the need for this type of program. It is so rewarding too to see people come back into the agency. I felt like I wanted to give back what was given to me. I was able to help out as a peer volunteer in that bereavement group and kind of offer the same support to the people that are coming in. They know how important it is, and that is reaffirming to, to our mission and, and what we believe in and what we do every day. You have your friends, you have your family, um, but you also need more than that. CMHA has a number of professional staff 
that are dedicated and committed to providing bereavement, coping with unemployment, and public education services. Prevention is for everybody. We all need to, we all need to practice good mental health. We all need to have awareness. We all need to have understanding of what is available in the community. When we do need supports, people need the help when the problem arises, when they're facing difficulty. So we want to be there for them. You don't have to live with that kind of hopelessness and despair. At CMHA, there is help available. 